We got the T. We have Khakis and Ishtar. So that is Joker and Youngling. Oh. So you better give us all the tea. Now, this is a character I know a little bit about. Um, I am a Young Link main, and this is a matchup that uh, in neutral actually could be really strong for Young Link. It's really easy for you to like get a lot of multi hits and totally get rid of Arson. The uh, time where you really struggle as Young Link, where you struggle as Young Link in almost every matchup, is dealing with Joker's like top tier, especially with Arsene, like top tier ledge trapping and edge guarding game as Young Link. It's really easy to counter the recovery if you have Arsene. It's really easy to down gun even without Arsene. It just can be so devastating every time you're on ledge. And so Young Link, a character who's strong and racking up damage, is going to be able to keep up with Joker. But now this is where the true test is. Can you close it out before Arsene overwhelms you? Absolutely, and I already love the way that, you know, wait, am I, oh. <laughs> wait, no, I'm pretty sure Khakis is the, oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure Ishtar is the Joker, um, because I, I've played Ishtar Joker before, Ishtar's a Joker main, okay. so, yeah, okay, there we go, good catch. <laughs> Um, I, what I was going to say was that I really love the aggression that we've been seeing from Ishtar. Um, it's a little, a, bit, a little bit more just in your face, you know, safely overwhelming, um, you know, khakis. And it's been pretty well. It's been working out in their favor. They've been able to take the stock with, um, you know, Joker Arsene and, you know, already putting on 59% on their second stock. So I really love the way they're already starting out this game, you know, going crazy. Yeah, and honestly, there's a chance that before Khakis can take the stock, Joker can get another Arsene, finish my sentence for me, and this is so scary now. One more offstage game, and we could see a repeat of what happened the first stock, where um, Khakis got countered, and it just resulted in losing the stock, and this is scary now. This is where so much is decided on ledge. Absolutely, this is all we're trying on, because we still have Joker Arsene, which can kill you extremely early. Oh. And it's a very nice tech and gonna make it right back to stage, but gonna die from jumping to that back air. You must know that you should never be jumping against Joker because Joker will kill you. Yeah, and so some important uh, Young Link stuff as a main that I know about is um, so he has the worst ledge roll in the game and the worst get up attack in the game. So because of that, a lot of Young Link beings really do love to opt for ledge jump because it's one of the few get up options they have that isn't really bad. So, um, I think Ishtar might be aware of that. Also, just people love to jump when panicking. So that back air was such a good call out, like such a safe move to throw out and potentially land you a stock. Now, this is where Young Link does shine. Low percent combos, already at 70%. But now, once again, can you deal with Arsene? It's the name of the whole matchup. Absolutely. This is probably one of the most important things about playing the Joker matchup. You have to have a very strong disadvantage. You have to live maybe one, even two to three, you know, Joker Arsene in one given game. And is that going to take it? Absolutely not. But your disadvantage needs to be absolutely on point because if your disadvantage is not on point, you will die to a lot of things that Joker has. And it doesn't matter how good Joker is or how good the Joker player is, they will absolutely be able to scout out that one option and they will be able to kill you for it. Yeah, and so we saw Khakis lose their la good down to their last stock when Ishtar still had three, but now Khakis is at a position where he can take Ishtar's stock like right now, and 66% is not too hard for Young Link to make up. That back are not gonna kill. Ooh. Oof. And that's a classic Young Link panic option, landing with that down air, but actually gonna bait out a landing option, and the pivot grab's gonna get the kill. 76%, this can be made up super fast. Absolutely, but as we know, you know, Ishtar has been playing really well around the entire neutral of Khakis, and we're seeing that in a little bit of effect, even though they did lose their second stock, they still have, you know, enough time to kind of get Arsene back and kill. Yeah, and all Ishtar's doing right now is just like either neutral uh, nairing, which is really tough for Youngling to deal with, like a fade back nair, or even um, doing fade back side Bs and just not giving Khakis anything. That being said, a quick 34, let's see if he can get more. I definitely really love this non-committal option right here. Just really staying in neutral and just really being safe about how they actually approach this because they want to wait to, to at least, you know, build up Arsene and still while well, understanding what Khakis likes to do. Yeah, and now the bad man's here and Khakis is at 150 and has to land against Joker. Does and gets the forward throw. This actually could be really good. Ooh, super unfortunate. The grab back's only turning around. Very nice, jumping over that to get the back air, but didn't really get it, and we're in a, ooh. Gotta be oh. very careful. Okay, that was scary. 
Um, Ishtar, smart, smart to just wait after that Nair and not mash like a panic option, because that could have been really bad. Now, 82 versus 188%. You could kill as Young Link right here. If you get an arrow combo on the ledge, down tilt on ledge, you can kill. This is super scary now for Ishtar. Absolutely. They have to be very careful about how they actually go about getting this kill. They don't want to die, and they don't want to lose such a really good game oh. that they have. And that is Arsene right there. And it's, that is absolutely going to kill. <laughs> Ooh, Arsene down throw? Ooh. Crush him into the ground. An uh, option like that only going to kill at about 200%, but that is what Khakis was at. Good stuff from Khakis, though. The survivability on that last stock. We saw the potential in that matchup if you don't get cheesed by Arsene, which Khakis only managed to do on the last stock. So Absolutely. if Khakis just plays that survivability that well for the rest of the next game, I could easily see this going to a game three. Absolutely. And not only that, I also want to mention about Ishtar is that a lot of the time they were staying on center. They were staying on stage. Getting the last trap was actually really good. The only thing was that a lot of the time they would still go off stage when they could have saved a lot of those situations for, you know, when they had Arsene, finding out that recovery path because, you know, once you find, you know, a lot of at least two or three good recovery paths that you know you can, you know, punish, that was actually what they needed to kind of just, you know, keep consistent in the way they were actually, you know, playing. Which is really well still, but very nice regardless. And I really doubt we're going to get a character switch here. He seemed, it was, I mean, it was such a close game, you know? Mm -hmm, absolutely. And going to Town and City. Now, this could be so strong. Young Link does tend to kill off the side with arrow confirms, with down tilt confirms. It's really strong um, on the edges. So you can get uh, like down tilt up B kill super early on this stage. And once again, a lot of whiff pivot grabs have been coming out from cat keys. I'm not sure how many are missed inputs or just uh, poor reads. Mm, that was very concerning indeed. But what also is very concerning is we have Khakis at 46%, almost to zero, but 26% putting on. And the, the percent's still climbing. I really love the way that they're still playing this neutral. This neutral has been super clean. And it's only like the first game, like hello. Yeah, jump. Uh, Ishtar's been using a lot of like retreating uh, neutral airs with Joker. The neutral air can be really strong from Joker because it can swat out projectiles. You know, it's going to beat, the sword's going to beat out any projectile thrown out. And in addition, Ooh. Almost killed, but this could be a bad... Oh, good early recovery from Khakis right there. Hasn't done that all set. Did it right there. Um, Ishtar not ready. I was going to say is the neutral air is really vital because it can totally be one of the best tools to get past Young Link's projectile, especially as Joker, where um, your only disjoints are really Nair and Bear. Ooh, for aerials. Ooh, very nice call on that jump right there. Got to be very careful. Oh, ooh, but gonna get clipped by that up smash right there. Was getting a little bit too aggressive and wanting that kill. But you have to remember, you have to keep on playing that patient game that you've been playing. Ishar has been playing really well at that. And now this is the worst spot to be versus Young Link because this is where Young Link can get a huge damage combo. Then even if you land the stock, you're already at like 80 or so percent. So it's gonna be important for Ishar to try to stop the bleeding as soon as possible. Absolutely, and not only with that, trying to be as safe as possible. A lot of what we haven't really seen from, you know, Ishtar hasn't been really using a lot of up smash, especially to call out a lot of options. They definitely could be using up smash a little bit more, even if it's, you know, just an option that you throw out. But they are going to take that stock at 180%. Wait, what's going on? Waiting out the arson right there on the angel platform. Oh, period. As you should. Yes, definitely good stuff from Khakis. And now, with arson just being lost, it's going to take a little bit. Unless uh, Ishtar has been good at getting Rebels Guard reads, though, on like up airs and such, um, and, pu and getting Arsene meter from that. And these grabs have been netting so much percent for Ishtar, the whiff grabs from Khakis. Absolutely, but the only thing is we're seeing Ishtar starting to commit a little bit too much right now. Maybe because they did lose the lead. So we've been seeing them commit just a little bit too much. Not really the best because they've been, you know, pretty, ooh, ooh, almost killing that. But I definitely love the way that we have been seeing Khakis just play around it, building up the percent. And oh. you know, they may be off stage right now, but they have to make sure that they are careful. Again, it's Joker Arsene. Very deadly. <laughs> Oof. Two whiffed up smashes in a row. Ishtar going to get the punish right here. And this is so scary. You guys are basically have equal killing each other abilities at this point, despite the percent difference. Oh, Ooh, and that was just in the nick of time because Joker Arsene was about to run out. Very good on Ishtar and trying to use that Rebels Guard to get some more of that Arsene buildup right there. And we're still... Ooh. 
Oh, at a pretty much even percentage. Yeah. Um, no, an adaptation I've been seeing from Khakis is using full hop more. I think Ishtar was catching a lot of Khaki stuff with like Nair, and also run back side B was catching short hops from Young Link. But um, now Khakis has been doing some full hops in neutral, going over the side B and then punishing with Nair. So really good stuff. Absolutely. Okay. I definitely love how even this is. Yeah, and this is good for Khakis because the more time that passes, the less time there's arson. You know, you don't mind waiting out this super patient neutral. Ooh, that could have been it. That was such a good read right there. Very good on that call out. But they were a little bit too much off stage for them to get that read. Very nice idea. I love it. But didn't get it just immediately. Yeah, but I feel like um, oh, I was going to say, Ishtar's been landing the most recent hit, so had some momentum. But Khakis shutting that down with that fair. So much percent. Oh, and that might have been, that might have just killed, but that might have been a little bit of poor DI. I feel like um, that move does kill, but usually not as early as 122, even on town. So that might have been some poor DI because that is such a quick throw. It's almost mm -hmm. instant. It could be tough to react to DI. Absolutely. Are we going to see it? Wait, that, don't tell me that was DI away. Don't tell me that was DI away. Well, it might have been if Ishtar it, was trying to like run off stage and wait, then got caught. Isn't that what this is right here? Um, that might just be the animation of oh. getting kicked. We, so we then have... what's the little little thing that has the little... Oh. I oh, don't you... think there are any hit lag frames during throws, so there is no DI line. Okay, so oh. I believe there's no DI line during throws. Well, what was maybe that? I lied. <laughs> but regardless, <laughs> it's hard for us to know exactly what Ishtar did DI if it was just going to kill by itself. Um, even as a young Link Rain, I'm not quite sure if that would just kill raw or if it was bad DI. My gut tells me it's bad DI, though. Well, that just might be something we have to review upon only because that second game was a little bit of, you know, Ishtar just committing a little bit too much. They did really well in that first game with not really committing all too often. Even if you're not in the lead, you can still play a really good neutral, but by not committing all too often and still, you know, understanding how you actually want to get in. So. Yeah. And look at this. Ishtar started this game off just going back and forth between platforms, not engaging on the ground because all there is on the ground is a boomerang and a fire arrow coming at you. So why would you be there? Very good, patient waiting right here. Ooh, and that jump I, there is so strong. Did you see that call out? That was a very nice call out on that um, spot dodge right there. And the beauty of that move is even if uh, um, Khakis does opt to shield, you could just fade away and avoid getting punished. So it's such a strong move and Ishtar using it to its best. Definitely really nice usage of the platforms to get around from side to side. And we're seeing a really good advantage from Ishtar right now. 79% with Arsen almost on the board right here. Ooh, just trying to put on some more damage. So it might be just that much easier for them to actually take this stop. And the Arsen coming up right here, that's why Joker is a top tier. He can either run you over with a lead and then gets Arsen and closes out the stock. Or can make a comeback with Arsen. So it's just definitely what I was talking about at the start of this uh, set with this matchup is... Young Link's whole win condition is going to be playing around Arsene right here. So having a lead going into Arsene is going to be so, so rough. And can he even get back on stage? Very no. nice. Very nice punish on that. Yeah, and we saw last set, the first two stocks, like there was edge guard situations, and Khaki's opted to recover high and early, and Ishtar didn't punish it. And now this third game, he saves it in the tank, punishes it, and has a whole stock lead. Absolutely, just losing that arson a little bit right there. Has to be really careful because they don't want to die with Baby Joker. Ooh, and very nice Rebels guard right there. Putting on some more so that they can have another arson on the board. And right here, you see Khaki's kind of just like jumping towards edge to edge of stage, um, trying to get a trying to get a projectile to land. And Ishtar is not giving it to Khaki's. This this could be another stock loss potentially with arson. Oh, especially a jumpless young Link. Oh. Yeah, that was going to end out that stock. They definitely need to be a little bit more careful, especially with that recovery path right there. But we are seeing a very nice two-stock lead from Ishtar, a repeat of the first game, and they just need to keep it. Ooh. Getting a little bit upset that, or that they are on their second stock. It's kind of looking like that with a lot of the commitments that Khakis has been making. 
definitely needs to stay a little bit more composed so that they don't actually lose this game. Okay, that's that's what Khakis need. Just something to break the momentum Ishtar had, because Ishtar just totally had a book, uh, had the book of Khakis written in red. Mm, very nice save on that jump right there, so that they didn't die to that situation. Good tech on the platform from Ishtar getting out of that combo. That could have been so much damage. And this has uh, actually been quite a good hot streak from Khakis right here. As I say that, the whiff to Zare into losing the stock. You're kind of put in a really compromised p position there. A super easy counter for Joker to land. And that is going to be a clean a clean third game from Ishtar. Clearly Absolutely. showing da some downloading going on. Period. Well, that was actually really amazing. I definitely like that set. Definitely two characters you don't really see too often. If I'm gonna be Surprisingly, honest. yeah. Uh, well, especially Joker, you know. I'm pretty sure almost in everyone's top five, but not that common to really run into, at least in New York City, we don't have too many um, jokers. Well, so good to see. Yeah.